Sure, yeah, happy to speak to that. So um, my dad was a psychiatrist and, um, you know, in college, I really actually wasn't so much, I think I wanted to do like environmental science or something. Last year of college, I decided, okay, well, you know, I, I mean, medicine is great. It's, it's um, you know, the opportunity obviously to help people. I mean, it's cliche, but it's, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's a really rewarding, fulfilling kind of thing. And so actually even before medical school, I worked in um, psychiatric research, um, which was fascinating. And actually the kind of research followed me um, throughout. Actually later, I kind of came back to the research uh, part of it. Um, but um, in medical school, I basically got interested in everything else. Um, you know, the thing with psychiatry, just like any other specialty, ophthalmology or something, is that you're, you're sort of like, your scope is a little bit more, you know, limited. And so, you know, when you're talking about physiology and anatomy and you know these things are like interesting you know it's it's kind of like in a way you know you have to kind of make these decisions about you know third your third fourth year of med school like you know what do you like what are you going to give up basically so i guess i was the type of person that was like i don't want to give any of this up you know um and um i found that there were these combined programs um the, the most common are actually medicine and pediatrics together, uh, but they also have internal medicine, um, dermatology, internal medicine, emergency medicine, internal medicine, neurology. For the internal medicine psychiatry, there are about 10 programs in the country and um, uh, kind of varies because sometimes they, other ones open, other ones close, et cetera. Um, I really liked mine. I was in uh, Chicago at Rush University Medical Center in Chicago. We were the largest. Uh, we had like four residents per year. Um, and so internal medicine is three years, right? And psychiatry is four years. The combined program is five years. And basically the curriculum, you, you, you really go back and forth. Um, you can carry clinics in both specialties. Uh, so, you know, that was my experience after medical school was was doing this combined residency training in Chicago, great group of, of people um, who were really drawn to the idea of, well, how does the mind react to illness? Um, how or, or vice versa? How does the body react? And so, you know, if you think about it, there are all these ways that, um, you know, that the two are sort of uh, intercalated and that there's a lot of different areas to explore. Um, you know, doing more training is not necessarily for everybody. So I remember I had somebody say to me, if you could do, if, if you could possibly do either one without doing the other, then do it. <laughs> but if you feel like you can, you've got to do both and then, then, you know, then go for it. The other thing too, that is humbling is, um, in the, in the kind of logistics of it, because if you think about it, you know, just like in college is you move forward and, you know, in medical school, you get very close to your classmates, you know, um, you're going through all the same thing, same thing in residency. Um, but in this kind of smaller group, you're sort of a part of these other two larger groups, medicine and psychiatry. Um, and those folks that you start with will finish before you. And so it's a little bit kind of humbling. Um, you know, you catch up to them obviously, but um, you know, but you have to be okay with that. Your, your ego has to be okay with, with, you know, sort of taking your time. And I actually really liked it because it allowed me, you know, if you think about all, so all that you have to learn in internal medicine is huge, it's huge. And I actually liked having more time. Um, psychiatry is more time than, medicine and i think that's because um the concepts if you think about like the number of diseases you treat it's much less right but the presentation kind of what goes into those and and sort of understanding on a real conceptual level takes time it just really takes time and um yeah so um so i, I kind of worked it to my advantage i guess and I, I liked having that extra time it also was helpful um for for doing research and so 
what happens during uh, the three-year internal medicine residency is that folks are really, if, if you want to do a subspecialty afterwards, you know, you've got to really plan it well. And as I mentioned, I, I, I happen to, you know, like a lot of, of things in medicine. And so medicine's a, a kind of a nice default, although it shouldn't really be a default, but it is, you know, if, if you're like me and you just think that all this stuff is really cool, you know, medicine allows you, and when I say medicine, I mean internal medicine, you know, allows you to sort of be that quintessential doctor who, you know, when your family member asks, well, what about this? Or what about my high blood pressure, my high cholesterol? You can say, yeah, let me, let me tell you how, how it should go. Um, and, you know, um, somebody gets sick on a plane, I mean, you can handle that or, or you know, all of these different kinds of scenarios. And so it's nice to, to have that, um, you know, to carry that as part of you. Um, and every specialty has that. It's just that, you know, the, 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 the general specialties, um, you know, sort of carry, you know, the, 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 they're more broad, obviously. Um, and so, yeah, medicine's kind of always going back and forth with the, the specialty and then the sort of broadness. And now we're moving into everyone is very, very, very subspecialized. So typically uh, with an, internal medicine, psychiatry, there's really, there's really kind of two ways that you could go from there. You could either be a, a, a primary kind of generalist doctor. Um, you, you could house yourself in psychiatry, but have, uh, you know, with medically complex patients, you know, you could be the primary for them, or you could do a subspecialty in medicine and then, you know, focus on the psychiatric issues in that subspecialty. So for me, I kind of knew right away that oncology fit the bill um, because it really took everything that I like from medicine, um, the pathology, the, the biology, the genetics, um, all of that, and, and combined it with what I really like from psychiatry, which is, the doctor patient kind of connection, understanding that relationship, um, trust, confidence, you know, all of those things, uh, allaying, allaying, allaying fears, allaying um, anxieties, kind of, uh, you know, all of, all of the kind of complicated relationship stuff there. Um, and yeah, and so that's, that was kind of a perfect combination. And it also, you know, some of the stuff in psychiatry, taking care of seriously mentally ill patients, is, is important, but it wasn't something that I was drawn to do. Um, yeah, and, and same with others, other types of medicine. Obviously, everything's important, but, you know, eh, just at the end of the day, like, you know, care more about one thing than the other thing.